after what I just experienced. I don't judge nobody, but if you if you doing it in the rear end. Hey class, come on in, good brads. You got a good one today, guys. On your way in, please hit that like button. That's how you pay your school tuition. Keep in mind that over here, guys, we don't cater to any groups, gangs, communities, or religions. We cater to the truth, we cater to common sense, and we do not complicate that, guys. All right, guys, so today, I wanna to talk to you guys about this anal sex, this backdoor sex thing. I have a video of a female who's telling you guys, warning you ladies who partake in these activities to be careful. <laughs> you know what I mean? She had a little funny, unique message. So we gonna go ahead and play that right now. After what I just experienced, I don't judge nobody, but if you, if you, Doing it in the rear end. I just, you are a strong person because what just happened to me <clears throat> make me never want to eat food again. Fellas, keep in mind, guys, that this is our it girl, guys. This is our it girl. These are going to be our younger girls that's just now experimenting with sex. You know what I mean? When a female give you the back door, that is a sign of a female being submissive. But it's also a trick too. Remember, women women are they freakiest when they're trying to when they're trying to gain you, when they're trying to gain something from you, when they're trying to extract resources from you. Just because they do these type of freaky activities, don't mean that they like you or they love you. You know what I mean? Just means that this is what they do to extract resources from you. So one thing I can say is when you when you're doing these anal sex activities, guys, you want to make sure that you got your lube. You want to make sure you got your KY jelly. You want to make sure you got a lot of lube. All right. It's, it's hit or miss on this. You know what I mean? Nine times out of 10, all women have tried anal sex. All women have tried to take it in the butt, depending on their partner, how thirsty their partner was or how, you know what I mean? Workable, negotiable their partner was. They at the end of that. They, they either liked it or they didn't, you know what I mean? It's pretty much, it's pretty clear. Some women like it and some women don't, you know what I mean? A lot of our big girls are gonna, they're gonna be into this, you know what I mean? This gives them an extra tight hold because a lot of the big girls, they pussy all the way blown out. So when they pussy get blown out, they use their butt as a way to court guys and to get guys and extract, you know what I mean? Because you know, guys watch a lot of porno and they know that these women are not stupid. They know what the guys watch. They know what the guys want. They know what the guys are like. You know what I mean? So they give you that butt. They get that butt up. And then you have some women that actually enjoy anal sex because they get to come off and they get the climax hard. So like I said, guys, this is pretty much hit or miss. If you get the opportunity to put it in the butt, butt. You take your time and have a lot of lube, all right? That's all I got to say. That's all the advice I got for that. Um, let me think. I know I'm probably get a couple more questions about this. Um, me personally, um, once you do it, once you try it a couple times, it's no big hype. It's nothing no hype about it. You know what I mean, I, I like to stay away from anything. I like to stay away from what I call jail sex. You know what I mean? Any, any, any sex that you can perform while being locked up around a bunch of niggas, I'm not fitting to do that with a female, you know what I mean? So all that eating ass and all that shit, I ain't big on, you know what I mean? Me personally, guys. But you do whatever floats your boat, you know what I mean? And in any event, guys, I check you into the next class, guys. Be safe.